Good evening and welcome to Market Perceptions. So this evening I'm going to quickly cover keyword staking on pre-search, okay? So this is predominantly for those of you who haven't heard of keyword staking or want to know a little bit more about it and how to set up a keyword, okay? So let's yeah, we'll just get straight into it. So first of all, you want to make sure that you're on the search engine home page, okay, where the main bar is, all right? If you can't find it, then just open up a new tab, just type pre-search, and then try pre-search, okay? And that's gonna bring you back to that search bar, okay? Right, so from here, where do we go? So on the top right-hand side, you've got a load of options, okay? and you want the middle one, which is keyword staking. Click that, and then that'll take you to the staking page where you can watch the video to learn about more. You can stake pre and you can buy pre, okay? Obviously, you're gonna need some pre in order to be able to stake your keyword. So we'll click stake pre, and then that takes us to the stake, stake, staking dashboard, all right? Right, from here, okay? This is where we then search for the keyword that it is that we want to use, okay? So what you need to understand is keyword staking is essentially the search engine's advertising tool, okay? It's how you get yourself out there much the same as you would with Google Ads, all right? And in the long run from June, July next year, pre-search will start charging for the service which will be paid for via the pre that you stake to the keyword, all right? So in the search bar, we're going to look for a keyword we want to stake, okay? So in this instance, let's decide we're gonna be big and bold and look for Bitcoin, okay? So as we can see, Bitcoin is already taken by FTX, all right? So if we were to go back to the search bar and type Bitcoin, scroll down a little bit and the very first advert we see is buy and sell Bitcoin, Ethereum and USDT by FTX, all right? And then we click the advert and that will take us to their page. Awesome. So here, we can see the key information that we need to know if we want to stake Bitcoin, okay? So we've got the keyword, we've got the comp whoever it is that is staking it, and then we've got the amount of pre that they have attached to that keyword, okay? So for this instance, 6,174,000, okay? And they've staked it five times, awesome, okay? So there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to beat that today. So we need to start getting creative and think what other keywords it is, is it that people are going to want to search when related to Bitcoin, okay? So we've already got trade Bitcoin, Bitcoin price, local Bitcoins, Bitcoin buy. So let's have a quick look at this, buy Bitcoin now. Okay, so as we can see, buy Bitcoin now hasn't been taken, which gives us the option to be able to stake it, okay? So I don't want to do Bitcoin. Instead, I would like to direct everybody to market perceptions, okay? So you may be talking to your mates down the pub or wherever it is you are, and one of them turns around and says, have you heard of market perception? Those guys are great, and you should definitely look them up. You get home, you can't remember what he said, but you just remember the name market perceptions, all right? So in the search bar, I've typed market perceptions. The keyword is available. There's no ad link to it. No one de staked or put, attached any pre to it, okay? So now we're going to go stake this, okay? So there is a minimum amount of pre required in order to claim a keyword, okay? And it used to be a thousand and pre-search have been pretty cool and they've reduced that down to 100, okay? So as you can see in our, in our balance, we've got 200 pre available to stake to market perceptions, all right? So 
I'm going to keep that as 100, which is the minimum, and that leaves me 100 to do another keyword. Next, we've got the outbid notification frequency, okay? Now, if someone else decides they want to stake market perceptions, you're probably gonna to want to know about it pretty quickly. I know I would, okay? So I can find out in real time, so I'll get a, an email notification. I can find out daily, weekly, monthly, or never, because I might not be bothered in the slightest, all right? I doubt anyone's not gonna be bothered, to be honest, let's face it. Now, here we then have our ad headline, okay? So over here, I've typed my ad headline. Now, this is what the first thing someone's going to see when they view your advert, all right? So as we can see here with FTX, their headline is FTX Cryptocurrency Derivatives Exchange Built by Traders for Traders, all right? And then underneath, we've also got their description, okay? It's pretty important that you think long and hard about how you want this to be, because that's the first thing someone's going to see when they type in, for example, Bitcoin, okay? So I've thought long and hard, and this is the title that I want to use. Okay, get real-time updates on cryptocurrency price action. Next, you need a description, which I've typed out here. Let's just copy and paste that across, okay? And that's what's going to hopefully entice you guys to click our link and check out what it is that we do, all right? And then next, we need a link to whatever it is that we are advertising. So in this instance, it's going to be the Market Perceptions YouTube channel, okay? After that, really simple, agree to the terms of the ad, pre-search ads terms, okay? If you want to read them, be our guest, it's there. And then we click next. Congratulations, we're done. And our stake is currently number one for the adverts, okay? So if we go back to pre-search bar and I type market perceptions, wait for that to load up. And there we go, top advert, market perceptions. We've got our title and we've got our description, okay? So obviously that's the first thing anyone's going to see if they type in market perceptions, pre-search search engine. So that's got to be number one priority to make sure that it looks good, all right? And then once all that's done, we can edit the stake, cancel the stake, we'll go back to the dashboard, okay? So back at the dashboard and we can see our keyword, we can see our advert and the link, how much pre that we've staked, our position, the number of views, and then the ad clicks. Remember, the number of clicks you get is telling you how many people are visiting your website or whatever it is that you're advertising once they search a word, okay? It, it does not generate any revenue, okay? This is an advertising tool for pre-search to generate the revenue, which is going to help them develop and grow this fantastic search engine, okay? And that, guys, is all there really is to it. Um, obviously, someone can see this. So if we're to type in market perceptions back in the search engine, in the search bar, we can see our keyword, okay? How much we've staked and the number of stakes to it, okay? Someone can knock us off that list, okay? So someone could come along and go, now, nah, I really want that. And they can stake, say, 200 pre, 1,000 pre, 10,000 pre, okay? And then I'll get my notification and I'll have to review it and see if I want to increase the amount of pre that I'm staking to that word in order to get back to the top of the list, okay? So obviously, the more pre that is staked to it, the higher up the list of advertising you're going to be. So if I keep to 100, three other people are ahead of me with 200, 300, 400, their adverts are going to get seen before mine does, okay? Right, so 
we've got our keyword and now we may decide we want to edit it because we're not getting the clicks we want and you just click edit and we can go ahead and adjust which i don't want to do or we can cancel okay now obviously whilst your pre is staked to a keyword you still own your pre okay it's still yours as i said I, I, well as it stands at the moment it's free to stake a keyword but eventually pre search are going to charge for the service it's going to generate revenue for them and a bit of that pre is slowly going to start getting spent doing that okay so you may decide that you the advert's not working for you, you're paying for it and nothing's happening and you need to cancel, okay? So we just go to cancel and that's done, okay? So if I refresh the page, uh, I should have cancelled it. Let's try that again. Uh, refresh the page. Well, it's still there, either way, it's cancelled. I'll sort that out in a minute. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Look out for another pre-search video. I think next we are going to be covering nodes. Yeah, pre bro nodes. And we will let you know when that's up and live. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.